Should you sign up with multiple distributors? I'm just gonna say it, no. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions of people saying, hey Mark, I released some of my music through TuneCore and some of my other music through DistroKid and there's these weird conflictions happening, what should I do? I've gotten so many questions like this and I just gotta say, if you're gonna be releasing your music, pick one. There are pros and cons to a bunch of different distributors. There's a bunch out there. CD Baby, TuneCore, DistroKid, Ditto, the list goes on and on and on. No surprise to anybody, I only use DistroKid. But I just gotta say, if let's say you're like, okay, I'm gonna release some music through TuneCore and some through Ditto, or these tracks through DistroKid and these other tracks through CD Baby or whatever, don't do it. Because like I said, I've gotten a lot of comments of people saying, hey Mark, I'm releasing through two, and now I have two different YouTube channels or two different YouTube topic channels. How do I combine them? Or I was releasing my music on DistroKid, decided to then release my music on TuneCore and everything, and I'm doing both, and now I have two different Spotify artist accounts or whatever. The truth is, at the end of the day, when you release music through two different distributors, you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe things turn out okay. Maybe for whatever reason it works in your favor, but typically and more likely than not, it's not gonna work in your favor whatsoever. And of course, you're just gonna be spending more money, right? DistroKid costs money. TuneCore costs money. Pick one and just stick with it. Now, I do know some people are like, well, Mark, I was on DistroKid, but then I removed all my music and now I'm on TuneCore or whatever. That is a different situation. And a big thing I always suggest Lexi, if you're moving from one distributor to another, whatever your reasoning is, remove and delete all your releases as much as you can. Delete everything. Then when you go to the new distributor, it's never a bad idea to contact them in advance and say, hey, I just wanna let you know, you know, I'm making this up. I was on TuneCore. I was releasing a lot of music. I deleted all those releases and now I'm re-releasing all my music on DistroKid. I just wanna let you know, give you a heads up, is there anything I need to do? I think that way you just never know. That way if you do talk to a distributor and they know that in advance, hopefully there is a way they can make things kind of pan out a bit easier and a bit smoother. But I gotta say, if you're jumping between distributors or trying to do numerous at the same time, not a good idea whatsoever.